Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and I'm gonna do a, well, I'm gonna try to do the best job of a review that I can do for the new episode of Power Rangers Super Mega Force in the driver's seat. So I say that I'm probably, I have to do the best, I'm gonna try to do the best I can for a review, because this episode was really bad, and try to review something. Like, do a good review for something that's really bad. So, um, sorry for those of you who liked it, but I'll get into a lot of the things that were done wrong with it. And there's just a few things that were done right, so I'll get into that too. So, starting off, um, you see Gose talking to Tensu, and he's like, Go, he's like, Tensu, we have found a we have been contacted, or something like that, and we, we have gotten an alert saying that um, there's an interdimensional activity going on, and we must figure it out. Then Tensu does for his little dance, you know, going going insane about like, oh, where are the rangers? Sort of like Alpha was, so then the, the rangers come, and Gose does some really nice explaining, you know, about Corinth, and how you gotta get there. And then the rangers are like, oh yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. And then Ghost is like, wait, don't, I don't think you should go. And in that scene, the first, like, op the opening scene, once the rangers get there, I think that was go one of Ghost's best moments of the both two seasons. He really just, he was, explained things well, he had some actual personality and concern and advice, and it was really... Something that the commander should, like, the whatever you call it, you know, like, Udana or Zordon, like, that commander person is supposed to get advice, help, concern, not just be standing around the whole time saying, while the rangers go off and find t uh, Tensu and, uh, what was last week? Uh, and stand and just sit in the command center when the rangers try to, while the rangers try to figure out how to switch their bodies back. The weeks are going by really fast, so I feel like Super Mega Force comes around, like, at the corner really fast every week. And I always, you know, I always try to get myself excited for it, and then it just ends up being a disappointment. I'm really, I'm gonna keep, conti always keep, gonna continue to watch the episodes every Saturday, but it's just getting really bad. But after that, the rangers convince Gose to go, and out of the wormhole, there's like this portal that comes, that opens, and that's what Gose's talking about, and Professor Kag from the RPM Samurai crossover, which I thought he got destroyed, but I guess he just got sent back to Corinth, but, um, and there, there's the, Sam, the Clash of the Red Rangers thing, Professor Kai was the main villain in that, that was an hour long thing, and that can be argued, I mean that's, it, it was kind of bad there, that, that crossover, but I gotta be honest, this was 25 million times worse, I, it wasn't even a crossover, I was hoping that be, because it was in Cornwall they'd show Dr. K, or Ziggy, or Scott, because we all know that the rest of the RPM Rangers are there. Um, Emily confirmed it from Samurai. Remember, she's like, We met your team, Scott. It was, you are really nice to us. They're, they're there. The RPM Rangers are in Corinth. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but, Professor Kai comes through with a bunch of grinders, which was nice to see grinders again, and Professor Kai's a fun villain. I think he should have actually had some part in RPM. Um, or had a bigger role in Samurai. I feel that, that maybe to create more of a challenge, they could have, throughout the rest of the season, he could have been providing Master Xander with grinders. And I think that, really, but another cool thing they could have done with this episode is that Professor Kai joined Prince Vakar's team. He never got to be part of a huge villain team. But not, I mean, like, not that we've really seen. I'm sure he's part of Vengex's team, like, villain team now. If, I th I'm pretty, Vengex is still there. Because they were sort of like that, like, cameo at the end of RPM. But, you know, who knows? But I think it would have been cool if Prince Vakar recruited him for his 
team. And then um, Professor Cog could have provided a bunch of grinders and other machine monsters and technology for the Armada to fight the Rangers with. And that could have been a cool crossover thing. And I think they really could have done something cool with the villains. They could have brought in, I know like each season tries to stay original to their villains, but like bring in like minor characters. Like how about like Elsa or Zeltrax? I know they kind of got like, Elsa was turned good and um, Zeltrax was destroyed, but I don't see why that they can't just bring in some of these past like secondary villains that didn't get the chance to shine as much on to help Prince Vicar and supply him. That would have been cool. It would have been cool if we could have gotten, um, instead of exports, different assortments of, like, their, um, whatever you call it, ground force, those, like, putty patrollers, the patrollers or whatever, like, uh, you know, an SPD, the Crybots, or Mystic Force, um, I forget what, what it was in Mystic Force. Um, oh yeah, those things. I forget what they're called, but, um, in, like, Operation Overtime, the Chiller, Jungle Fury, the, there, there were, like, some, and Sami, I don't know, I don't even remember, but, like, they could have done something cool with that, but they, I'm getting off topic, so, back to the episode of the Rangers, they go through the portal into Corinth, and Professor Cog's like laughing to himself and the grinders saying we we tricked them, they're now in Corinth, now we can take over the world. Then there's the theme song and then you're back to the show and the Rangers are in Corinth, they're flying through Corinth and then Gose and Tensu are talking and they're like, oh no, and then they realize what's going on and then um there's a moment with Professor Cog and the Grinder, and they're like, we can destroy the world, blah, blah, blah. And then you see it up in space with um, Prince Vicar, Damaras, and uh, Lavera, and Argus, and they're all talking, and, and they're saying, or Prince Vicar's having like a tantrum, which that's another great part of this. Prince Vicar and the villain. They did, I think they really shined, outshined a lot of um, everything else. And I liked how they executed the whole villain situation here. Always could have been done a lot better, but I thought it was one, probably one of the better things in this episode. So Prince Vicar's tantrum, and he's sort of like just like a funny like, villain in general. Like, I don't know, I th- feel like it's more directed to kids, this villain. And I guess that's fine, because, I mean, maybe one way to keep the show going is to have some humor in it. And that's probably why Jake stepped in right at the end, and they're all like, Oh, you're the poopy ranger. Oh, I know. It's really... I'll talk about that at the very end. Um, but after that, the rangers are in Corinth. And they get into Corinth on the dark day. They take the skyship, they morph this, yet. Yeah. Of course, Troy's driving it. Somehow he knows how to fly a space uh, space pirate ship. And Emma, Orion, and Gia are having a conversation. And that was another great moment. Um, Emma and Orion's dialogue. How Orion was sort of like Emma was apologizing to Orion because she said something about the planet. And he's like, I'm just glad I met you guys. And that's the kind of character traits that we should do if we've been saying the whole season. From all of them, these intense backstories, and that's one thing. And speaking of RPM, that's one thing that RPM did very well. They each had a nice backstory, and some reason to get them out there. Dylan, he's probably my favorite ranger there. Just so, such an amazing backstory. Oh. If you guys wanted, I could review the whole season of RPM, but you gotta let me know in the comments. But um. Yeah, Ryan's the only one who really does have a backstory, which is pretty cool, so I like that. Uh, but then they're in Corinth, or what they're calling Corinth, but what is completely not Corinth and looks completely the opposite of Corinth, okay? This is not... They're making Corinth to be some, like, time... It looked like Time Force. Like, they're that city. Just dark. 
Corinth is a dome. It's the, called the Dome City of Corinth. It says that in the very, very beginning of every single episode of RPM. And I'm pretty sure even even in the Clash of the Red Rangers RPM Samurai crossover, um, even though that was pretty bad and uh, Scott then demorph, they um, he said the Dome City. I come from the Dome City of Corinth. They just called this the Corinth. Okay. First of all, this there's wherever they are. This w- fake Corinth. It's not. It doesn't look like it's in a, it's in a dome. It's completely black background. It looks totally fake. There's these futuristic like runways with for tracks, and there and there are these like futuristic looking buildings. It's just small little sections of them here and there, not a lot, and it's pl- pitch black. Just these like neon colors everywhere, and that's what they're calling Corinth. I was so pissed. I'm still so pissed because the episode ended 12 minutes ago. But man, did they ruin it! They, I mean, of all the things they've done, even the Animarium, okay, that was a pretty bad. It wasn't a bad episode, but I mean, it was kind of a bit. No, it was better than this episode. It definitely was. But even though they didn't bring back Princess Shayla and they didn't show the as much as I would have liked them to, it was still better than this. It's really disappointing. And if they're gonna make an episode this bad, bring in Dr. K or Ziggy to give them some advice, or have them be older, or or send leave have the Rangers leave something so the Ranger for the Corinth Rangers. The RPM Rangers know to come to the legendary battle. Something that makes it all make sense. But of course, they didn't. They never do. The Saban is too cheap, and that's why I'm convinced that Dino Charge is going to be bad now. They have a nice looking cast, very promising. Nice suits, cool blasters, really cool toys. Go online, look up San Diego Comic Con toys, and right now at uh, New York Comic Con, Bandai, Bandai booth. If you're there, you should go. I'm un- uh, unfortunately I'm not able to be there, but I'm trying to working I'm working on going to um, Comic Con next year, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I don't know. They're really kind of ruining this whole show in general. Everything they've built up, everything they built up, even Samurai that was still building up. Okay. After Samurai ended and Super Samurai, fine, alright? I was l- learning to accept that this is, that Power Rangers took like, maybe three steps backwards. In Mega Force, they took another 20 million back. And then, Super Mega Force, they just bombed it, okay? Mega Force was bad, and I've said Super Mega Force has been good, better. That was before I've seen some of these more recent episodes, like last week this week when it, it came back from its hiatus the first like two episodes were okay you know the typical okayness now they're just getting back to mega for it the only thing that i'm enjoying out of this and not even enjoying this it's just cool to see like the new ranger teams but they're doing these like oh pegasus power rangers and dragon powers <sighs> i'm sorry i'm off topic again but Basically, what's going? I'm just gonna zoom through this because I don't really want to talk about the episode that much, even though that's what this is. But Rangers, they see the Turbo Falcon Zord. I guess it's a wild, the wild Turbo Falcon Zord. It has to be tamed, and it was let out. It was an extra artillery Zord that was never used in RPM, which makes no sense to me. But um, I guess it was let, Professor Cog let it out before he trick the rangers to coming to Corinth and leaving and so then the rangers are like trying to tame it and they're like and they tame it which somehow if that makes sense they can just tame a wild car zord whatever and then they um uh, then I guess the ghost they contacts them says that they're trapped and then they're they're just st- standing there talking back and forth like saying things like oh no oh my god when are we gonna leave here oh my no oh no oh it's back and forth this all this crap that i care nothing about and then on earth you know prince Vicar, damaras all his crew is fighting professor kai and that's something else they really did well i really did enjoy 
Um, they retreat later because then the Rangers somehow get back because the Turbo Falcon can just bust through it all because that also makes a lot of sense. So then they're able to come back from Corinth, the fake Corinth. And they, um, they come back to Earth and Prince Vicar retreats. They fight uh, Professor Cog. And they dis uh, they form the legendary Megazord and Q Rex Megazord. Although the Q Rex Megazord doesn't seem like it's used at all, and they combined with they were they're able to they unlocked the power of the RPM Zord. So then the Turbo Falcon comes from Corinth to Earth. They form the legendary Turbo Falcon Megazord or whatever that's Turbo Falcon Megazord, and they destroy Professor Todd. Then the episode ends with the rangers going back to this farm area, and that's where the portal was, back to Corinth. Then the Turbo Falcon's able to talk to Gia somehow, because that also makes a lot of sense. She can just talk to a Carzord from another dimension, right? Right, yeah, I know. And then the Zord flies away back to Corinth, and the rangers try to get a ride from a tractor and then the guy says no because of something that previously happened in the episode which was really a pointless part definitely written by Saban and um I forget what, what else was it uh, and then the rangers are like oh man we gotta walk home oh snap and then they're walking and Jake steps in a puddle of mud somehow cause he just can't doesn't Pay attention to serve his, to his surroundings, and then he's mad. The rest of the rangers laugh. It's like, oh man, these are new shoes, man. And they're like, oh, Jake, you're the, you should be called the Brown Ranger. No, he should be called the Poopy Pants Ranger. And then, then the episode ends with them laughing and walking home. <sighs> the end. And then it goes to you know the next program, which was SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm really, really disappointed with this episode. I've pretty much shared my whole thoughts about this whole review. This is a pretty long one. I'm probably going to end the video here. Um, I will be reviewing the rest of the season. And I said I wasn't trashing Saban, and I'm still not. But the fact that he just can't make a quality program really, really upsets me. Hopefully, Dino Charge will be good. Otherwise, then we all know... And Dino Supercharge, which is going to be an insane season because it's called Dino Supercharge, that will probably be the last season. Dep and also, depending on how this new Power Rangers movie comes out with Lionsgate. So, my guess is that Power Rangers should be over by the end of 2016. There's always a chance, but who knows? After that, they're going to go to Tokyo. Tokyo, that's the train one which with the okay suits and from what I hear they've got some pretty cool stuff first ever real orange six ranger my guess is that we won't come out we won't go that far power rangers and I don't know what they'll call it they'll call it like super train force or whatever super rail force I'm guessing it's going to be called rail force if they even do that and then after that who knows my guess I, I'm just I don't know really really disappointed really losing me as a fan Always loved the past seasons, but now it's like this isn't even the same show. Um, please remember to click, share, like, subscribe. Um, I'll be doing reviews a lot late right now, and I'm also going to be doing a New York Comic Con video pretty soon um, about some new stuff that's being announced and being released with Marvel and DC. Uh, I'm writer, keep writing.